Good afternoon, everybody. Evie here. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. This afternoon, um, I'm going to do a f uh, 40 centimetre round canvas. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I haven't been able to get round canvases for a while. So um, I'll just get organised and I'll get back with you. Right, first thing I'm going to do is just cover the canvas in some white. And um, I'm going to write a word in mine. I, I th there's a lady that always does this before she does a painting. I will acknowledge her. I just can't remember her name at the moment. This word is peace. I just would love there to be more peace in the world and kindness, wouldn't you? Anyway, so that's where we're going to go today. Um, just going to scrape this over. Actually, this is the bottom of one of those um, wind protectors to go at the bottom of the door. And we didn't need this bit. <laughs> and um, it's just so lovely to scrape the paint over. Look at that. It's just divine. I'm just gonna, oh no, that's all right. Yeah, so smooth. It's easy. Just want to pop the white around the base with the runoff. I always like to get the edges with the paint on in the beginning because although you can touch it up afterwards, sometimes it's a bit hard. Okay, so there we are. I'm going to be using. Jilly's method with blue, little balloons today um, and see if I can create a nice result. Let's get the colours organised. I'm back now. As you can see, I've got the base on. It's quite hot today. I'm going to um, actually apply a bit more base. It's already drying. Got a bit more on there. It's a bit difficult in my art studio today because I have no electricity to it so I've, I'm running a electric lead from the house because I don't know if you're aware but I'm having this one will be pulled down and I've got a new one being built which I'm going to be using after Christmas and um, then I will be able to advertise some uh, some classes again so any of late any of my clients that are hanging out to resin coat paintings etc they're more than welcome to come you don't have to wait for a class and uh, i'm so looking forward to it yeah so um i've got no lights on so i'm working during the day and i hope everything works out <laughs> so we'll give it a go anyway just put that on the edges there so today I'm going to be working with silver, gold and teal and white. So let's go for it. And I'm going to do puddles. And I'm going to try and do less is more, which is difficult for me. <laughs> silver. More white. You can hear my chickens in the background. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to have gold. Just drizzling all over. And then I'm going to add another touch of white on the top. I've got another bottle. 
castle here. Yes, I can't even have any music on in the background. <laughs> okay, so we'll see how this works. I'm going to blow this over and then I'm going to press. Let's just get this turned on. Look at those colours, aren't they beautiful? Can you see the gold in there as well? It looks gorgeous. Very happy with that. So I've got some balloons here, but they're old. <laughs> so I don't know how, I can't blow them. I haven't got any others. So I'm just going to dip firmly and twist and pull up. You can see how there, how it sits on the balloon. It'd be actually nice if I had something else to press that onto, wouldn't it really? Um, I've got a book here I made with iridescence um, paints and then laminated, not laminated, put a clear gloss on. I'll just um, press in here. I'm going to use this as a background to do a painting. Okay, what I might do is go around the edges as well with a little balloon and do like little featherings. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm only sneezing because we've in the, our place is like a building site. It's just the dust. back in the middle and just remove a little bit of this paint. I might have too much on here. Oh, it's a bit slippery. Just hope I don't burst it. <laughs> I might do some little ones going up.
this I've got quite a lot of paint on there I think I've put too much on we'll see what happens but I think the color scheme is magnificent I love it okay the trouble with me is knowing when to stop so I might stop now and have a look at it I think I lost some of the filming. This is the result I've come up with. I rather love this. It looks spectacular, as you can see. But I think I've got that bit too thick, and I don't think my base was the same consistency as the colours I've used on the top. So I'm unsure what to do with it now. Um, I think I might do a bit of a swipe. What I'm mixing up, I've got some silicon oil and I'm going to put some gold in with it. Give that a mix. I'm just going to remove that little lump off there. Let's Part of my um, <laughs> iPad holders fall into bits. <laughs> I think I need to treat myself. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to pour more white over this half. That's my little doggy. Just going to put that over the top there like this like so yes I know the other colors are coming through but that's okay that is fine a bit more white I'll take the lid off I think the nozzle was a bit blocked. Okay. Now the colour I'm going to use to drag is this gold so I'm just going to do a stream through there and I'll just get some paper towel some water on it. Okay. So I've just got a bit of dampness on the end. to drag it put it in halfway into the gold and scrape off
little bit more. Hang on a second, sorry. <laughs> I should have prepared this <laughs> earlier because um, I'm in the middle of packing all this up here. So it's, um, yeah, it's hard to know where anything is at the moment. Right, so a little bit more here on this edge and drag that off too. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that back. Make sure I've got enough gold there. Might just add a touch more here. Whoopsie. And in there. I'll just in, add a bit more all over. There. See, as you can see, all the, the cells coming up from the silicon oil that's been used. And what the oil does comes to the surface and comes through the paint. So the paint underneath shines through the colours. Right, let's go. Okay, the only bit I'm not liking at the moment is this bit here, so I'll just um, might go over that piece one more time. I might add a touch more white in there to make it a bit more fluid. And a bit more silver. I'm sorry, Jilly. I was trying to do your technique. This is Jilly, Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast I'm talking about now. She's got a fabulous site on YouTube. She's a very, very clever lady. She's a real person, put it like that. And uh, I love watching her. So we're just going to try again. <laughs> so we can't waste this beautiful... Um, beautiful round canvas oh now I like that I do like that yes obviously I didn't have it quite fluid enough just a bit more water sorry I've disappeared once again usually I'd have a spray bottle that I'd spray a little bit of water on the edges I don't even know where that is <laughs> Okay. Oops, sorry, I knocked it. So then we're going to go up here into the gold and pull straight down. And again. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well, I'm liking that. What do you think? What do you think? See, there's only the cell, cell formation of silicon in the gold that I've put in. So if there's no gold, there's not enough gold here. So I'm just going to add a little bit more here. 
and pull that through. Sort of make sure it's got the gold on that paper so we can drag it through. Oh yes, that's a little bit more gold. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So that's now I think I'm much happier now hang on a little bit more right now I'm going to pull try and pull more gold down yes that's it that's great now that is good. I'm happy with that. Now what I'll do now is get the blowtorch on and just make sure I can see if I can bring up any more cells and also pop any bubbles. If you look there you can see that there's a lot more cell structure I'll just see if I can't um, tap it and bring it in a bit closer is that working or not oh that's showing you a bit more of the painting actually so I'm wondering now whether I will then go back to using my balloon along that gold I love it as it is but seeing as I came out here to use the balloons I think I'll give it a go <laughs> so let's try You're either saying, oh, you've spoilt it, or you love it. Anyway, I'd appreciate some comments down below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, oh, that would be lovely. Some comments and ideas and click that like button is greatly appreciated. It's all to, works with an algorithm. And if there's not enough interest in my work, I know I've been a bit slack lately. Um, they, they just take us off. I'm just going to go back on this one. Put a little bit more gold here. There. I actually love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've got some of the paint has rolled off the edge, but because there's not much as in, in the way of cut, I always like my paintings to go over the edge. So what I'm going to do with a piece of the paper that's already got colour on it, I'm just going to tap in appropriate, appropriately where those colours were on the edge here to go with it. I just think it finishes off a painting lovely when the sides are painted. Got plenty of paint on this balloon. I'll pop that on there. Right, 
now I need to clean the blue, come around and just check the side, this side, to make sure it's got paint on. I need a bit of gold actually, I'm going to put a little tiny bit of gold just so that I can add that on the sides. Oh yes, that looks better. Just so it's an appropriate tone in this. All right, I'm going to bring you down now to have a look at this. I'm really very happy with it. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I'm sorry I had to keep leaving you and going and collect things. Um, I'm just going to give it another blast with the blowtorch. come back again in half an hour and it will be totally different I'm wondering whether just to do that slightly bigger hang on now I need that balloon I'm just going to do it bigger I think it needs to be bigger in the middle and pressing it into that gold oh yes what do you think I think that balances it now don't you okay we're done this is the, what I've just finished. You can see, look at all those beautiful cells that are coming up through the paint. It does take a little while to work its way up through. You can see I've sort of brought it back down around the sides. So that what I've got is like darker and lighter. And I think that that looks beautiful. We'll come back later. Just come back about 20 minutes later and this is the final result. It looks marshmallowy, like a top of a puffy pavlova. Oh, I think it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I think it will go lovely with my new kitchen. Might put it in the in the hallway. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.